What is up everyone? It is your boy Eddie here on Texas Reeling. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Today guys, I got something a little bit different for you. I am actually doing a little kind of an unboxing. My buddy Mike over at 4D Fishing. If you haven't yet checked him out, please go over check him out. He has some awesome baits. Uh, that's what I'm going to be going, going over with you guys today. Some of the baits that he has. He actually came and brought me some of these baits for me to uh, try. And some of them that I'm really, really excited about. And I'm going to show you guys today what he has going on over at the 4D Fishing Shop. So you guys stay tuned to this video. Make sure you watch to the end because I got some cool stuff in this video. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of underwater footage. Um that I that I've been wanting to do and that I've been having in my mind to kind of show how a jig looks under clean and dirty water and why you should fish uh, dark jigs, light jig type that type of thing. Um, how do you know how you know what color to choose when you're fishing clean or dirty water? So yeah, let me show you guys real quick what we got going on. So these are some of the sweet sweet looking jigs. I put trailers on them so you guys can see them what they look like with trailers. This right here is a color that I'm really excited to try. It's like a uh, Alabama crawl color. I think that's gonna be killer. Check that out, guys. Let's see if it'll focus. There it goes. This right here, guys. It's an, a good looking color. This trailer I have on there. This is actually a 4D fishing soft plastic. Yes, a 4D fishing soft plastic. He now sells soft plastic, guys. And I'm gonna talk more about that here in a little bit. I want to show you guys some of his spinner baits that he sells. Some good looking spinner baits with some trailers that I put on there that I chose. That's a nice one there. This is a good looking spinner bait as well. This color is almost the same as this jig. You guys can see. And uh, one cool thing is the wire, guys. This wire. Whoa. The wire on these uh, spinner baits. Check it out, they're custom painted black, black head. These are white, white, white head. You can kind of choose what color you want. All you have to do is get in contact with Mike, tell him what color you want. And like I said, he can do them black, white. It doesn't matter, he can do them. And uh, he also has different kinds of blades. He has Colorado blades, willow leaf blades. So you can tell him what kind of blades you want and he can put the blades on there for you too. One thing about that's cool about these spinner baits is they're super, super light wire. Like I told you, these light, light wire. These are, are hard to find. Most of the time you find the heavier wires, which is uh, which does make a difference when fishing, fishing these spinner baits. This light wire kind of bounces off that that timber a little bit easier so you have some timber it'll, it'll bounce off a little easier that's pretty cool and some more exciting stuff guys he also sells crappie stuff now let me show you guys what he has so this is a packaging you'll get them in if you receive uh if you order some some crappie and soft plastics this is what they look like he has different colors soft plastics this right here is a nice looking color. So, this is what the jigs look like. If I can get them focused in. There we go. So, that's some, they have some crazy action. Check that out. Look at that. I can just imagine how that's gonna look in the water. Look at that, look at that tail, it's just, that is a sweet color. Good job on those colors. Um, and then this is the soft plastic guys that he, he has. 
That's now he will be selling these soft plastics in different colors. All you have to do is go to the website. I'll have it up right here. And then I'll have his link to his website and all his information down in the description below. So if you want to go check him out, make sure you go check him out. Um, I'm going to show you guys the jig heads he also sells. He has different color jig heads for those crappie jigs. He has traffic orange. What is this one called? Black. And then this is the safety yellow. So he also has a couple of other colors, I believe. And he has a different size jig heads too, guys. These are 1 32nd ounce. This is 1 16th ounce. So different sizes, different types of waters. I mean, he has it. Like I said, just go check him out. And he'll have that. So that ain't all. He also has some good merchandise that you can go get right now. As you can see, jigging from 4D Fishing. They're all on his website. He has long sleeves, short sleeves, hoodies, you name it, he got it. Make sure you go check him out. These shirts are, I love this shirt, guys. I love it. That's all I can say about it is I love it. I love the way it fits. I love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. I love what it says. So, I love everything about it. Plus, it makes me look kind of buff. Anyways, uh, yeah, guys. So, that's what 4D Fishing has going on in the shop right now. Make sure you go check him out. Don't miss out on all this great stuff he has right now. I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what color of jig you should fish and what kind of water. So, most people say when you fish dirty water, the first thing that comes to mind is you think, okay, fish something bright so the fish can see it. Well, it's actually kind of the opposite, guys. You want to fish something dark, dark baits and dark dirty water. Why? I'm going to show you guys that in a little while. And then when you fish clear water, you want to fish something a little bit brighter. That's when you throw something bright is in clear water. I know it kind of doesn't make sense. It's kind of crazy. When I first started learning about all this, I was kind of surprised myself. But yeah, that's usually how it goes. And I'm going to show you guys why here in a little bit. I'm going to get my bucket of water. I'm going to put some water in there and I'm going to show you guys why you should fish what I'm gonna throw my GoPro in there in the water and get some underwater footage and you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about and then I may do it in a couple of glasses too I don't know yet uh, I'll figure that out and then we'll see what it looks like so you guys stay tuned let's get to the underwater footage so I got my bucket with water ready I got me a couple jigs I got four jigs I got two dark ones and two lighter ones it's kind of Kind of uh, starting really dark and going to lighter, four different shades. I'm going to start with the lighter ones and clear water, and then from there we'll go to the darker ones. So let me show you guys what I got right here real quick. So I got a green pumpkin, then from there we're going to go all the way to a all black jig. And there's the bucket with water. We're going to set up, uh, I've got my... GoPro right here, my underwater GoPro, and then I got my camera that I'm using. We're going to try to get some underwater footage, hopefully it all works out. And um, Let's go ahead and start with a green pumpkin jig, and we'll see what that looks like in clear water. And then I'll put a dark color in there to see what that looks like in clear water. And then uh, we'll go from there. So let me put the GoPro in there, and let's get started. So this is what it looks like in clear water when you have a 
more natural color versus a dark color. So I have the green pumpkin on one side and the black one on the other. And you can clearly see that that green pumpkin stands out a lot more for some reason than that black one does. And you would think a darker color would stand out more in clear water, but it's actually the green pumpkin one that stands out more. You guys, it's, it's pretty pretty obvious to tell that green pumpkin right here is standing out more than this one. You guys can see it from close, from far, you, that green pumpkin just stands out. So now that uh, we did the, the light color jigs, now you guys can see why you should fish a lighter color jig in more clear water or a brighter color jig in clear water. Now we're going to muddy this water up, get it kind of dirty, and uh, we're going to throw some dark jigs in there and then we're going to throw the light jigs in there and you'll be able to tell that the darker jigs you can actually see better in dirty water than you can the lighter jigs. So I'm going to go get this water dirty, put some dirt in it, and then we'll get back and we'll start doing the little experiment on dirty water. So I went outside guys to grab some dirt, as you guys can see, and it even came with a little surprise, look at that worm in there. We're going to toss them in the, worm, in the water with it, and uh, we're going to get this water dirty. So now that the water is nice and dirty, oh my wife is going to be mad, look at that guys. My mom ain't going to be happy about that. We'll clean it up before she finds out. All right, so we muddied up the water, got it nice and dirty. Look at that, nice and dirty, nice and muddy. Now we're gonna do the experiment on dirty water. The visibility, as you can see, the green pumpkin has disappeared, but that black is still visible. You can see more of the black than the green pumpkin in dark water. Now I got a, a couple of other color jigs. Let's throw this uh, muddy, this muddy water magic is what it's called. Now that one stands out really good. Then I have this uh, more of a, a bluish greenish natural color. Let's throw that in there and we'll see the difference. We'll see how, let's check out the difference. So check that out. The visibility on the green the bluish green not as much the black and red very very visible compared to this one pretty crazy so I hope this helps you guys try to figure out what to throw next time you go out fishing um, now you know that when you fish clear water, throw brighter colors. When you fish dirty water, throw darker colors. So this one was obviously, the green pumpkin was obviously the best option for clear water. And the black, all black, was obviously the best option for um, dirty water, for muddy water. That's why I think people love the color black and blue jigs. Just because it has a mixture of both. It has that bright blue. And then it has that black. So, I mean, to each his own, you, you're you always going to have your favorite jigs. You're always going to have your favorite um, your favorite baits, should I say. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. But uh, like I said, all these jigs that I just put in the water were 4D jigs. And like I said earlier in the video, make sure you go check him out. Go out there, buy you some 4D jigs, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I caught my personal best on a 4G jig, and uh, if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go watch that video. I'll have it up here. Um, click that video, go check it out, tell me what you think. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Go out there, catch some fish, stay safe, and most importantly, don't forget to keep it real. It's your boy, Eddie. And I'm out. Peace.